Hi everyone, welcome to another RP video tutorial. Here today I'm going to talk about surface automation or Citrix automation. You may aware that there are two types of automation we can do uh, using any of the RPA tool. One is like native automation and another one is a surface automation. So native automation is a basically automation where your automation tool like automation anywhere, UI path, whatever tool you are using RPA tools and the other applications or your target application should be there in same system. So let's say uh, my automation anywhere is installed in uh, like this system and my SAP and other application is also installed in a, this same system. So that is we, we call as a native automations. However, in surface automation, so surface automation is all about you know where automation anywhere client is installed in a different system and your target applications let's say you are automating sap excel or web based application which is installed in a different systems like citrix or any other uh, you know remote desktop so surface automation typically typically means you know uh, visual automations where you have to use the commands like image recognition keystrokes ocr right so here you will get very minimum chances of i mean you cannot use all the available commands in automation anywhere so you have to use some specific commands. So you know one of the challenges about uh, the Citrix automation is whenever you do a Citrix or surface automation, so bot will treat entire window as an image. So that is the reason we cannot use all the available commands here. So bot is treating this, I mean, window as an image. So I'm going to explain you or show you how we can automate. Uh, like uh, surface automations where your automation anywhere is installed in a different system and your target systems target applications are installed in a different system okay so i will step i will explain you step by step information before going into the details uh, i want to tell you to uh, you know make sure whenever you are using us uh, using or building a surface automation you have to keep in mind something like you have to keep the resolution fixed whatever you are developing Let's say you are keeping 100% of resolution at the time of developing. So make sure same thing is there when you are running your bot or you are moving into a different environment, right? So surface automation is also depending on your internet speed or in case if any changes is happening with that applications or your environment, then your bot will fail. So make sure you are keeping in this uh, things in your mind when you are uh, automating your applications. Uh, you know using surface automation method okay so let me go to my system so this is my desktop you can see here so here i have installed the automation anywhere so this is my one of the desktop and this is another desktop you can see this is my remote desktop so here my uh, internet uh, explorer is installed so in this video i'm going to use the internet explorer to show you a simple uh, example how we can automate using surface automation in upcoming videos i will work on the sap part also okay so let me come down and i'm going to automation anywhere and i'm going to follow the steps okay so just follow this step and watch this video completely so you can understand and what are the best practices we need to follow while working with the surface automation okay so first is I have to uh, go to this system and I have to do a double click here. So it will open this Google page right after opening the Google page. I have to type something then I will it will take me to a different page. Okay, so just follow the steps. I'm sure you will be able to understand and the, you will be able to perform the same thing. So here you have to select the window. So in this surface automation uh, scenario, you will not get the other windows name here. So you can see this is my remote desktop. So this is the window name. So I have to select that and I have to click on capture. So once I click on capture, it will take me into my remote desktop. So let me select this first page. So this is the my first part which I have selected. The second is I have to again select the same window name. I'm going to click a capture. So this time I will select once again this. 
so i am selecting the range okay so as soon as you do the select it will ask you to verify the target so whether we have selected the correct target or not so i can see here this is the correct one only i will do a okay then you can see here this is my main page and this is the second image and here i am going to do a double click make sure you are keeping a proper percentage match otherwise your bot will fail so i am keeping this as a 80% and i will do a save okay so once i run this code it will open that internet explorer okay so this got open now next is i have to write something here again i will go to automation anywhere make sure you are putting proper delay so whenever you are working with surface automation make sure you are putting some extra delays otherwise the chances of failure will be very high so let me keep a five seconds okay now again here i will use a keystrokes now okay so i will go here again i will select this window from here i am writing like you know salesforce so i want to open a salesforce okay after writing the salesforce i want my bot to press and enter so here i will keep a two seconds of delay and same thing i will copy and i will paste here instead of salesforce this time i will use a enter okay so i'm running this to validate whether everything is working fine or not so till now it is working fine the now next requirement is i have to click on this 30 of uh, free 30 day trial okay so again i am minimizing this i am going to my automation anywhere i'm putting another delay so again i have to use the image recognition right so i will select that page i will go there so this is my first screen or image i can say i'm selecting this time this part okay now again i'm going here and i'm clicking on this capture so i'm i'm capturing the the second part where i want to do a click so this is the part where i want to do a click so basically this will you know uh, this is the way where image recognition is doing a match so within this window it will look for this free 30 day trial okay so you can see here first image and second image here i will uh, change the percentage to 80% so this match percentage is totally depending on uh, your experience based on uh, the internet page behavior okay so here i'm keeping 80% and this time i will do a double click okay so it will open that so let me rerun once again all right so this part is also running fine so it will open this page so now i want to write something here okay my first name last name so what i can do again i will go to the automation anywhere so this time again i will use the image recognition first i need to perform a click there okay so i will go there same i will select that window so here i am selecting from here so second again same window this is also done so okay you can see this target uh, window is correct only then i will use a left click okay so if i run this my bot will do a left click next is like you know i will use a keystrokes so here i will use a keystrokes and write down the value so here i'm going to write rpa then i will use a delay here then i will use a tab so it will come to the next part okay the second name and again i will put some delay here 
and I will write a last name as a developer. Okay, and I will do a save. Okay, so let me run this and we will see whether it is running fine or not. All right, so, so it is running fine only. So let me do a quick run, I'm closing this. Okay, now I will run a full command here. So I'm going to automation anywhere. Okay, so from here I will run and we will see whether everything is running fine or not. So what is opening the Internet Explorer? Now it is going to Google. It will type the sales force and it will press and enter. Now it will click on free 30 day trial. So once it will open, it will do a click and it will fill the required details. So, so this is like, you know, uh, the way of working with uh, the Citrix automations. However, I told so many disadvantages of using Citrix automation and you have to keep in mind some uh, extra steps like you have to put a proper delay so your uh, I mean bot can wait for some time to load your page so it cannot uh, get fail right so so this is all about this uh, Citrix automation or surface automation I would say so I hope you like this video and find this video is helpful to understand this surface automation process and I would request you to Kindly share this video with other interested people as well. If you have any suggestion or any query or any feedback, it's like you know highly appreciated. You can go ahead and post in a comment section so I can I can work on those things. And don't forget to subscribe my channel to get more RPA related videos. So once again, guys, thank you so much for your time.